Oh my goodness, take 100 or something. Uh, hello, <laughs> welcome to the Life Research Project channel, and I am your host, Robert Bruton. And today we are talking about my latest book that's available on Amazon called Quiet Your Mind. And we're, we talked about uh, Plan B, Hell No. Um, we're a little new to uh, YouTube. I haven't been blogging very much. We've been wanting to do a channel here uh, on YouTube. It's been important for um, me to start. And as you can see, we're just doing it from our office and there's a little bit of reflection here and there. But hey, this is one of the things that we really talk about in our podcast and and everything is, is you know, uh, when you get ready to change your life. And, and that's really what all this is about. The Life Research Project came about because I was trying to change my life. And one of the things that comes with it is people get scared they say you can't do this you can't do that well as you can see we're not shooting some star wars film here uh we're just doing a youtube we're using the computer um i do have a great microphone that i love that i use for uh uh for my podcast and for those of you that listen to my podcast you know that I, sometimes i'm doing it outside sometimes i'm doing it in the car uh sometimes where you hear tractors you hear all kinds of things so it's really you have to get to a point in your life where it's not about doing it some yes i would love to have a studio yes i would love to have a sound stage yes i would love to you know uh have a soundproof booth to do my podcast but I don't have those things and it doesn't really make it real it makes it canned so this is real this is us and this is how we do it so I hope you'll you'll enjoy that part of it um, I know I can see in the reflection all behind me but you know like I said we just simply don't have uh, the facilities in order to uh, do all these fun things that we would love to do but that's my point. You don't have to have all this stuff to get started. You don't have to have all this stuff, this fancy equipment. The fanciest thing I ever bought was this microphone. And, uh, uh, it, and it works great. I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. And it's the best investment I've made. So quiet your mind was something that, I, oh my God, quieting my own mind. I struggled with that. Like there was no tomorrow. I mean, it just, I couldn't sit through church. I couldn't sit through business meetings. I couldn't sit and talk to people. I just, because my mind was racing all the time. I couldn't get it to shut up long enough so that I could actually hear. So we're going to talk about some things that you can do that uh, uh, I'm telling you has made a, a night and day difference in my life. It allows me to focus when I'm writing. It allows me to focus when I'm in a meeting. It allows me to focus when I'm at church. It allows me to focus uh, here. You know, I kind of did a little breathing exercise before uh, I started this video. We've done a couple of takes, but other than that, um, you know, it, it just, you just got to get your heart to slow down. You got to get your, once you get your heart and your blood pressure to slow down a little bit, you know, and you're just kind of relaxing and just kind of chilling out. And that's, my, and then what happens is, is that you get to a point where you're like, okay, this is no big deal. I can, I can handle this. This is not a, uh, you know, it's like when I very first started doing my podcast and things like that, I was like, oh my God, I don't have a radio voice. And like here, I don't have, I, I, you don't have some movie star voice. I'm not a Morgan Freeman, you know, who has some wonderful, you know, speaking voice, James Earl Jones, you know, <laughs> you know, you wish you had all that Rod Serling, you know, and, uh, Someone asked the other day out on social media, it was hysterical, that, um, uh, if someone could narrate your books, who would it be? And I put Rod Serling, and uh, everybody's like, oh my God, you know, uh, the Twilight Zone guy. So I, I just think he has a really cool voice. So Quiet Your Mind, like I said, came about because I just couldn't. And so we're going to go over today a couple of things that, that I do. Um, they're all in the book. You can get... Uh, uh, get a copy on Amazon. Um, it's not expensive. And uh, in fact, most of my ebooks I've knocked down uh, uh, because of all the COVID stuff. Um, we've either put them down at 99 cents uh, or free. Um, 
if you, and I will say this because I say it in my podcast all the time, if there's any of my books that are on Amazon that you would like to read and you just simply don't have the uh, financial wherewithal to even spend a little bit of money on um, none of my books are, are overly expensive but uh, you know five bucks can sometimes make a difference between <laughs> whether you're going to eat lunch tomorrow at work or not and I understand and get that so if there are any of my books I will send you a pdf version of it, it will be anything uber fancy but it'll be free and um, if you don't have a way to look at it um, on your uh smart device or uh, on your computer, I am happy to print it out and drop it in the mail to you. And uh, uh, again, all free of charge. Not uh, uh, If it helps, uh, then God bless you. I'm willing to help. So one of the things that, that really helped me a lot, and, and I got to thinking about it when I, when, I, when I bought my new watch, okay, so it had this function on it, and then it would come up, and it would start to tell, it would tell me, breathe. So I pushed the button one day. I was like, what the hell is this? So I pushed the button, and it gets you to actually breathe. And it does kind of a little flowery pattern on it that goes back and forth that actually, when you follow it for 45, 60 seconds, um, you actually start to slow down. Your, your body starts to slow down. And then I started doing a little research about simply just breathing. And I'm like, this is too damn simple. And that's what happens. So don't think some of the things that, that I write about, podcast about, or that we do a, a video about, if it sounds really uber simple, well, it is, and it, but it works. And that's the cool thing. So get that out of your head because a lot of people send me notes. That's just too damn easy. You can't do it. Well, well go try. You know, and it, it does make a damn difference. It really does. So, and you don't need a fancy watch to do it. I'm just kind of one of these little tech nerds that likes, you know, I love the watch. I love my phone. So I, those are little indulgences I give myself. So the cool thing is, is that, that breathing doesn't require anything other than you to do just that. So you're in through the nose and out through the mouth just some deep cleansing breaths and and then you just kind of breathe I, I i like to close my eyes and just breathe for about 60 seconds okay and uh, that's really all you need until you just kind of feel your body slow down here is a cool thing about breathing that i learned uh, uh, some time ago um that people use in high stress jobs for example uh special forces guys use this breathing technique I'm about to tell you about um, and people in incredibly high stress situations can use this to calm themselves down and so you're asking yourself why should I breathe in a high stress situation well when you can calm and quiet your head your noodle here's the thing lots of things can start happening it opens up your brain <clears throat> and your subconscious to start talking to you and you will begin to be able to problem solve. You'll be able to uh, uh, think effectively and not have a lot of chatter in your head that's going to, uh, you're just going to go, oh, 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 God, I can't do it. Oh, oh God, we're going to, you know, and no, 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 slow down, slow down. So what people do in uh, high stress jobs, for example, special forces guys, I think this is pretty cool. They do, a, they do a, something called box breathing, okay? Um, and it's, it's where you take in a breath on a four count hold it a four count and then let it go on a four count okay repeat and r rinse and repeat you just keep you know four hold four cleanse four hold four breathe in okay and it's you're just basically making a box four 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 all right and so um and it's amazing when you get into a, you know, if you're fighting with someone, I hope not. But if you get in an argument with someone, sometimes maybe just set, just stop, go to the bathroom and box breathe for a minute or breathe for a minute. Sometimes, you know how people will tell you when you get to, dude, just breathe, man, just breathe. Because what happens is, is when we get tense and we start doing things, then you, and you can do it even doing a video or podcast. You know, you forget to breathe. You start talking so much and you forget to breathe. So you kind of have to slow down and remember that as you're talking and you're making it conversational, you still need to breathe. 
So, and, and all of us have gone through where someone still says, dude, you need to breathe. Shh, slow down, man. You need to breathe. You know, when you get excited and that's the truth. So doing just breathing exercises, uh, you know, when you, when you get to work, breathe, you know, when you've, when you get ready to go into a meeting, take 60 seconds and breathe. When you get ready to go into a, a tense situation, take 60 seconds and breathe. I'm telling you, it makes all the difference in the world. It absolutely positively works. Okay. And, um, and you can breathe throughout the day. Like my watch reminds me all the time. I think it reminds you when your heart rate gets up a little bit that you need to slow down and breathe, you know? And so, um, when you get a little, and I'm looking over here, I'm hoping that glitzy, if, for those of you that follow me know that my dog, um, uh, usually is in the studio, in the studio, in the office with me. Sometimes she's in a studio with me when I'm doing my podcast. We don't have a fancy one, but we do have one. And so, uh, sometimes you'll hear her bark. Sometimes she sees people out the window or she'll see an animal out the window. Cause we are out in the, uh, in the desert in West Texas. So every now and again, a coyote will walk through or a rabbit or a road runner, uh, or a bird lands at the window and she just goes nuts. So if you hear her start barking, because I see her eyes perked up and I see her walking out the door. So maybe, maybe in a minute we'll, she'll get all excited. But I need, need to breathe. Because I don't want her to mess up my video. And she's not. She's going over there she's on the nice cool concrete and because we have concrete floors in the office and so she's laying down now she's happy all right so breathing and and do this box breathing and you could look it up on the internet box breathing is a thing and it and and you'll see that people in very high stress situations use it because if they can take that moment to just, if you're in a high stress situation and you need to be making choices and you're just, you know, and, and everything's going, if you can slow down, I'm telling you, when, when you can compose yourself, you can make decisions and do things that in a negotiation, for example, if you can sit there and breathe and focus on your breathing as people are, are going back and forth, if you if you're in a tense negotiation, learn how to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And I'm telling you, you will start winning negotiations and you will start because your mind is there. Your mind, there is clarity in your mind. You you're not fogged up. You're not uh, uh, racing at 100 miles an hour where you can't make a good, clear decision. And so therefore it uh, it gets a little bit nutty. Uh, in your head and you can clear that out with just some simple breathing you know and you don't have to let people see that you're doing it I mean you can sit there and just kind of you know and and just I always try to close my eyes a little bit you know and get that relaxing tune people out for a second then you can tune them right back in but if you can, I'm telling you, if you can do this, it will make all the difference in the world in any situation that you're in, okay? And it also will help you maintain calm during your, biz during your business or work day or with your family. And, you know, if it's, uh, uh, it's good when you can bring a better you to any situation, whether it's your home situation, work situation, uh, it's just better when you can do that. And breathing helps a lot. Okay. So that's, that's lesson one. I get a little more in depth in, in the book, but that's really something that I touched on in the book was just the simple act of breathing, but it's in through your nose and out through your mouth. All right, so the next thing is learning how to meditate. And I'm not talking about, you know, not doing that. Okay, I'm just talking about keeping it real simple. That's, that's the other thing that, that, uh, that I try to do in everything that I do. It's like, it's like dude, I, 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 I'm a Carhartt freak, okay? So I love Carhartt clothes. I don't do blue-collar work, but I love Carhartt clothes. So <clears throat> I have a, I have a my Carhartt t-shirt um, and I'm sitting in my office on a Sunday afternoon just uh, because I can relax I can I can be me and I can do what I want to do 
and we can uh, uh, put out a good video, I think. And like I said, everything is about being simple, um, not having to worry about stuff, don't stress about things. You know, I guess if, if uh, and it, you know, it's so hard today to think about things in the, in a, you, cause you don't want to sound sexist, but you know, um, for women example, you know, um, I think that women focus a little more on, on, on uh, I don't know that I would get uh, a lady, a female to come and just, you know, come no makeup and put on a t-shirt and do a, a video that's going out into the world. It might be a little harder to do. I'm sure there are gals out there that do that. And, and, I'm, and I really, really, really say this with all due respect to women is, you know, um, Yes, I think you can you can put your hair up in a ponytail and I think you can put on a little makeup and that kind of thing if that's a, if that's your gig. And and you can but keep it simple when you're doing stuff. You know, there's a time and a place. Yes, there are going to be times and things that I want to do where I really am going to want to be in a studio setting or I I you know, but for stuff like this that's that um is just me really sharing why I wrote a book and what I'm doing and and uh uh, really talking about the life research project and why we do it and I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and I hope um, that you'll get something out of it because I am going to talk a lot about my books and we're going to talk about a whole bunch of other things besides just books we're you know I'm not we're absolutely positively uh, we may talk in the sense of being able to handle current events, but I'm not bringing current events into the channel. I did it in my podcast a little bit, and I'm sorry that I even did it uh, because it's just not who we are. It's just not, you know, yes, I think it's important to be about and, 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 you know, stand up and say, no, I think this is wrong or that's wrong. But I think we are, uh, there's too many of us that are just losing our damn minds over it. And it's just not, uh, um, you know, it's not helping. Uh, it's actually hurting. So the next thing is about meditation. And I was going through the little things and all that kind of stuff. And we kind of got sidetracked. The meditation is simple. Okay. I use my cell phone. Okay. Uh, you put uh, some headphones on something that'll drown out the noise. Uh, make sure that you turn your phone to do not disturb so that people can't call you and you don't get text alerts that are beeping in on the on the headphones. You want to turn your phone uh, as far off as you can and but not completely off. Uh, so you want to put it on do not disturb um, and you want to find a place in your home where the dog's not going to come lick on your face. Yes, Miss Glitzy, I'm talking about you. Um, and hang on, do you want to come up here? All right. Um, so you want to make sure that, uh, that you're going to be undisturbed for 30 to 45 minutes, maybe an hour at the most, okay? And so one thing and you can use whatever you want but here's what i use there is a video from wayne dyer called i am and it's really just music uh, that someone else did uh that he loved and i liked wayne dyer so hang on all right so blitzy's gonna come say hello hang on all right so all right say hello all right so all right so we're gonna let glitzy chill out here for a minute all right so what what i do is I put on that music, okay? You can use anything. You can use um, uh, rain. You can use thunder. You can use ocean. You can use flutes. You can use meditation music. It doesn't matter. Just find something that allows you to lose yourself in that music for that time. And here's what I'm talking about. All right, so you get all that going. You find a relaxed position, whether it's laying. Most people will tell you laying, meditating, laying down is not a good idea because most people will fall asleep. And I, I have done that, but I've also found it uh, sometimes to be where you can just let your body be completely uh, relaxed without... Um, where you can just feel like you're floating on a cloud. You can feel like you're floating on water. You know how you get whenever you lay on your back and just kind of float on the water for a minute? 
Uh, well, this is the same thing on your bed. Or you can find a pillow to sit on the floor, uh, a chair, a comfortable chair. Just get somewhere where you can shut your eyes and you can breathe. Because before you start your meditation, you want to breathe. And so when you get into your meditation, especially when you're a newbie to this, one of the things that you'll want to do is you want to um, just relax, learn to breathe, and then... Um, you just kind of let yourself drift off, you know, uh, and this can take some practice. OK, uh, you can focus on the music. That's why I say find something that relaxes you and just focus on that. And it may take a few times. And here's the skinny. This is why they call it a meditation practice. All right. So a meditation practice is uh, something where it's going to take some practice to do. OK, so you um, you practice and you practice and you practice and eventually you'll start losing yourself. Eventually, you'll start being able to drift off on a cloud. You'll be able to start drifting off in your mind and you'll be able to start doing some things within your mind you know you start looking and seeing yourself doing certain things you start visualizing those things and i'm not this is not a visualization exercise but you can see yourself happy you can see yourself in the relationship that you want you can see yourself in the job that you want you can see yourself in with through your mind's eye uh doing anything that you want to do and you can see yourself getting through a, a tough situation. You can see yourself surviving. Um, you can see uh, yourself learning and becoming a better you. And that's what it did for me. And that's what I continue to do is it allows me to um, uh, quiet my mind to the point where uh, all of a sudden life starts finding you, okay? Um, solutions start finding you you have a quiet mind that it allows your mind to do what it's geared to do you start um it's like i said successful things start finding you um uh, answers to certain things start finding you because you're not freaking out um i remember my ex telling me you know that she goes you know you fight monsters that aren't even there because she would get frustrated because I would be freaking out over stuff or I wouldn't or I would just not be uh, present in the moment. And so uh, this allows you to get present in the moment, you know, and you can meditate anywhere. But the most important thing is find a space, do it. And I'm telling you, if you do it before you begin your day after you end your day and you do this religiously so set a reminder in your phone to not only breathe okay but also to set a time to meditate and clear your head okay um other things that you can do uh, take a walk get out go take a walk stop what the hell you're doing go outside go take a walk tell them hey you know what i'm gonna be gone for 15 minutes i'm 10 15 minutes i'll be right back and go walk if you can find a place that's uh, got some solitude where you can go walk sit you know if you i used to go and sit in front of fountains um water fountains just kind of have a very relaxing uh moment for me i'm able to just sit and listen to the water and water really does it for me so if you're close to a water fountain a river uh somewhere where you can hear a babbling brook uh if that's even in headphones uh, you know uh get yourself a uh some river sounds there's all you can get stuff you can find that's easy to find okay um so getting out and walking just taking a break and just unplugging for a minute. And you can allow yourself to unplug. People who tell me they don't have time to do this or that, I'm telling you, you don't know how to manage your time. Oh, I'm like, man, no, you can't. No, you can't. Because if you could, I'm telling you now, here's, here's my tried and true thing, and everybody gets pissed with me because they don't think it's fair, but it is fair, okay? First thing that I'm going to ask you is, is tell me about your day. And so you'll tell me about your day and I'm going to say, okay, so what you're telling me is you can't squeeze another minute into that. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. I, I got nothing. 
you know, I'm a single mother. I, I get my kids up in the morning. I do the uh, things that I need to do. I go to work. I work. I get off work. I pick up my kids. I come home. I cook them dinner. I clean the dishes. Uh, and by the time kids do homework, clean dishes and all that, I'm done. Okay. Well, my point, and it's another video, and it's another, it's one of my books. It's called Organize Your Life to Win. Um, but we're going to talk about this so that you can squeeze in breathing and you can squeeze in meditation. All right. And we're going to we're going to touch on this. The first thing I'm going to ask you when you tell me about all your day, because the one thing that nobody tells you about is they took a bathroom break. So I'm going to ask you, did you get up and go pee? Yeah. How long does it take? How, long, how far do you got to walk to the restroom at work? You know, you find time when you have to find time. Okay. Well, that's a bodily function. You got to do that. I'll pee my pants if I don't. And yes, you will sit there in your pee pants. But you found time because you told me you couldn't squeeze another thing in. Not one. Well, you know, no, 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 no. Think about it for a second. You found time. If someone came in your office and said, hey, come with me down to the, uh, I got to show you something. You'd find time to do it. If someone called you and said, oh, my God, you got to go see what's on Facebook, you'd find time to do it. Social media, by the way, is your biggest waste of time. I'm not saying get off of it. OK, I'm not. OK, but learn to manage it. Learn to manage your screen time. Screen time will absolutely positively waste your time unless, for example, Read it, doing this video, I would call this a productive time because this, I hope, when you walk away, you're going to go, oh my God, there's some exercises I'm going to try to, to see if I can quiet my mind because I can't focus. And when you can quiet your mind, guess what happens? You can focus. You just have to learn how to do it. And so I'm giving you some, some things to do. All right, there's foods that you can eat, okay? Um, high fiber foods, I uh, uh, they talk about. Um, you know, foods where, uh, uh, you're not having to, uh, go through a hard digestive process, you know, um, those type of things, but fruits, vegetables, uh, pretty much anything that's good, just like anything that you're doing. A good diet is something in, yes, I need to lose a few pounds. So yes, I'm on a diet. Yes, I try to watch what I eat. Do I do it all the time? Absolutely not. But I'm diabetic. So I do have to watch more so now, like I have a refrigerator under my desk, that's full of sugar free drinks. So I don't eat so I don't drink soda pops. Uh, and that helps a lot. Okay. The um, the other thing that that um, that you can do is is exercise, relieve some stress, get a massage, uh, and, and get a real massage. Uh, you know, you can visit a chiropractor and get a, a you know and get a good a good deep tissue massage. Anything that you can do, you, you know, get your uh, if you're in a relationship, get your partner to give you a massage a real massage okay not a massage that ends up in kissing but a real massage okay and something that that get the tension out of your neck you know if one or the other of you get home it, feel the stress in someone's neck and go come here sit down at this chair and give them a a, a chair massage something where you're going to take that stress if you want to have a good evening and both of you come home from a stressful day, then each of you give each other 10 minutes in a chair and just say, here, you know, let me, let me just kind of work out some of the knots and feel around for those knots and then put your thumb as a pressure point on that knot and just hold it and you will feel the muscle actually relax. Okay. So when you put some pressure onto a tense muscle you know and if you do it with your hand this your elbow whether you do it with your thumb but if you put some pressure on that you will literally feel that muscle just relax it'll 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 actually just dissolve right in your hand it feels weird but it's cool and so if you do that and get the if you want to have a nice evening guess what that does you're like oh my god thank you 
and you're relaxed. Guess what that does? Quiet your mind. Guess what that does? Focus. Guess what that does? Makes you present in the moment. So think about those things. When you get home and you've had a really stressful, shitty day, then as your partner, okay, I need to be able to say, hey, hon, come here, sit down. You've had a stressful day or vice versa. Okay, so these are things that you can do. Absolutely. Let me grab, hold on, I'm grab a book because I made, I made some notes. Hold on. And I want to make sure that I'm hitting on everything that we talked about. Yes, high fiber dairy and fruit are good foods to eat when, uh, to help you. Um, all good for brain function. Okay. Um, let's see, where are we at? Okay. Yeah, we did touch on meditation, breathing, okay. Um, get outside, we did touch on that, all right. Um, walk, you know, uh, here's another thing. Her, okay, yes, she <laughs> is a spoiled, she is a spoiled brat, but she's my spoiled brat. And when I come home, if you don't have a pet, okay, um, adopt, Th or think about it. I mean, you, you may not have a lifestyle that can take care of a pet, okay? I happen to work in a job where actually she can come with me sometimes, um, uh, not all the time, but she can come up here, she can hang out, and she goes and wanders the office because uh, there's nobody here, you know? And, uh, uh, and I'm able to, like right now, I'm able to just, you know, she just she's just sitting here chilling out. She's not doing anything. Um, but it's, it, it's calming to me, you know, and she's, she, you know, she's, uh, uh, she's good company and she, uh, wakes me up every morning with a big lick across the face and, uh, you know, she's, she helps me to be calm. Pets do that. Okay. Um, Eating healthy, well, we talked about that, but I want to talk about self-image. That, that also helps uh, when you're not sitting there aggravated and aggravation, uh, things that aggravate you. These are things that if you um, learn to quiet your mind, you will be less aggravated at certain things in your life, I'm telling you. Then a lot of it just won't, you won't, you're just like, really? I, I got bigger fish to fry, you know, and, and you'll let some of that stuff go. Okay. Um, organizing your life. There, here's a big, big thing. If you come home to a filthy, dirty house, that is the state of your mind. Okay. If you don't believe it, then start doing a little psychology. Uh, look up the state of your mind, uh, is usually the state of your desk, usually the state of your home or the state of your car. Um, if all of them are a catastrophic mess, then your head is probably a catastrophic mess. So learn to organize your home, learn to, you know, if there's a big pile of dishes in the sink, go wash them. If there is a big pile of dirty clothes, get to the laundry, get all that shit up, get it organized, get doing it. And I, it, I'm telling you, I have to do the same thing. When you're depressed, you don't want to do nothing. And so you can't quiet your mind because here's what happens when you're depressed. Then all you focus on is everything that's wrong. And guess what you're going to get more of? Everything is that's wrong. All right. Um, another way to um, uh, quiet your mind is to doodle. Just get yourself a piece of paper or get, um, there's all kinds of, you see them in the, in the bookstores and you see, you can buy them at Walmart, for goodness sake. Um, you see the little, uh, and the intricate, thing where you have to sit there and actually color within the lines into a very intricate space. And that is incredibly uh, cleansing. Okay. Um, brain games. You know, if you can find some brain games that you enjoy, uh, that is a really uh, fun way to... Uh, to get your mind off things, you know, anytime you can get away from things that you are, uh, stressed about, 
uh, and you can relieve your mind for a minute. And I'm not talking, you know, okay, so combat games are not that, you know, I'm talking about doing things that, that stimulate your mind. Okay. Yes. Video games stimulate your mind, but some of them you can get lost into, uh, other worlds and things like that. That is not focusing your mind. Okay. The other last thing that we're really going to talk about is just eating a good breakfast. They always say, you know, everybody says breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Um, if you want to be able to focus your mind and which in turn means quiet your mind, um, having a good breakfast with good healthy food in the morning is a good idea getting you know if uh you can walk the stairs at your uh, if you work on the second floor walk the stairs you don't have to walk it all the time but you know at least once a day walk the stairs for me i get up and i walk around the building sometimes and uh, uh it helps me to when i'm in a stressful situation and i get part of my job is very stressful so therefore, I have to stop what I'm doing and uh, and just get out. I just go take a walk, you know. Uh, sometimes I just go take a ride in the golf cart. You know, we have a golf cart. And sometimes I just go get in my golf cart and I'll go spin around, you know, and ride around the golf cart for a minute. You know, sometimes I'll, I'll go back to my house and, and I'll just, and I'll, I'll grab this one, you know. So... Uh, you can quiet your mind. I hope these are things that have helped you quiet your mind or learn how to quiet your mind. Uh, if you have any questions, you can go to my website. The link is in the description below. Um, the link that uh, uh, below, I also have a contact, uh, you know, where you can contact us and there's a, a page so you can tell me if you um, have a question or uh, we didn't cover something that you thought, hey, dude, what, do you know about this or do you know about that? Um, hopefully I'll have an answer for you and I, I respond to everybody. So uh, I do get a lot of things through my podcast show and I do get a lot of things on the website. So and I respond to everybody. It's not something that I staff out. It's something that I actually will uh, talk to people, especially my readers who uh, want to know certain things about uh, about my books and or have questions about how they can better adapt something that I do. Uh, everything that I do is 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 all part of my journey. OK, I'm just sharing with you things that worked for me and hopefully they'll work for you as well or they'll at least spark and you go, oh, my God, I'm going to try that. And then you may find more and more that I didn't share that you may be able to, to do so. Um, like in my podcast, we're going to cut it off there. Uh, uh, you can find everything uh, at robertbruton.com. You can say hello to Glitzy by Glitzy. We're going to put you down for a second so we can cast off here. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm very grateful for those of you that uh, uh, subscribe to our channels and things like that. Thank you. It, it, means, it means a heck of a lot to me, and I'm very grateful for that. And I never take it for granted. So um, my name is Robert Bruton. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll talk again real soon. Bye for now.